Today's lesson is on scientific notation. The lesson objective for this lesson, that is by the end of the lesson, I can convert between standard form and scientific notation for a very large or a very small quantity. So I want to be able to go back and forth. Sometimes it's in standard form, sometimes it's in uh, scientific notation, and I need to be able to convert. Let's do some really quick vocabulary. So standard form is the way a number looks. normally. 385, that's in, that's in standard form. Um, to and 3500, that's in standard form. All right, so the way a normal number looks, the way you've been looking at numbers since you were in kindergarten is standard form. Scientific notation, which we're going to talk about today, is a number that's expressed like this. It's a it has a number between 1 and 10, times a power of 10. A number between 1 and 10 times a power of 10. Don't worry, I'll teach you what that means in a little bit, but just have that definition down somewhere. A coefficient is the leading number when you're multiplying two terms. We've seen a coefficient expressed like 3x, the coefficient is 3. Um, that coefficient is going to change a little bit today when we talk about standard notation and scientific notation. It's going to look a little different. It won't have a letter after it, but that's okay. You still know what a coefficient is. It's that leading number when you're multiplying two quantities, okay? Power of 10. That just means how many times a number is multiplied together. So a power of 10. So it's always notated like this, 10 to the nth power, because we're going to figure out this power. Okay, that's the power of 10. So here's the question, the big question. Why do we even use scientific notation, and why is it called scientific notation? Well, here's the reason. Scientific notation allows us to write very large and very small numbers without so many place values. Because sometimes you mess it up with the commas and the zeros and all that kind of thing, and it needs to be expressed in smaller terms so you can make sense of it easier. So here's an example. And the reason they call it scientific notation is because you usually see those, those large numbers or very, very small numbers when you're talking about science concepts. For instance, the Earth is about... 150 million kilometers from the sun. Instead of writing 150 million, you can also say that the Earth is about 1 in 5 tenths times 10 to the 8th power kilometers away from the sun. So that takes that really big number and kind of condenses it and makes it smaller. Okay. Another example of where a small number becomes, or a small number, really, really, really small, and you turn it into scientific notation. A red blood cell is about 8, whatever place value that's in, right? Because you guys would have to count that out. We don't want to do that anymore. Meters long. So you can also change it into scientific notation where it's about 8 times 10 to the negative 6 meters long. So let's learn how to do that. How do I convert from standard form to scientific notation? Well, the first thing you need to remember is this. Okay, if it's a very large number when you multiply it by a power of 10, that power of 10 will be positive. It's a, if it's a very small number multiplied by a power of 10, it'll be negative. The, the power will be negative. So how do I do that? The first thing I need to do, here are my steps, is move the decimal point to create a coefficient between 1 and 10. So I, I look at this, and I know I need a number, the first number in my scientific notation, okay, has to be between 1 and 10. When I look at a large number like this, I know that the decimal point is actually back here. All right, so I need to move the decimal point so it makes that first number in my scientific notation between 1 and 10. If I move it like this, and I'm moving my decimal point, 
I'm going to stop right in between the 8 and the first zero because 8 is between 1 and 10. That's really important, okay? Now I'm going to multiply it by, let me, I don't want to use an x, I want to use a dot, okay? And here's how I figure out my power of 10, okay? I start back at the decimal and I count how many times I jumped. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, since I know that I'm going from a really large number and making turning it into scientific notation, my exponent will be positive. So this is 8 times 10 to the 11th power. Don't worry, you'll practice. So what do I do when I have a really small number and I need to change it into scientific notation? The exact same thing. Okay, so the first thing I do is I move the decimal point to create a coefficient between 1 and 10. So I'm going to move this decimal point all the way over here. Is 5 between 1 and 10? Yes. So I'm going to write 5, okay? And then I'm going to count my how many times I swooped. 1, 2, 3, 4 times. See, I keep doing that. Sorry about that. Make sure it's a dot. 10. And this time, I moved it 4, but I actually had a really small number, so I know that my exponent is going to be negative and I moved it one, two, three, four times, so that's to the negative fourth power. So this is scientific notation. This is standard, let me write that, and this is scientific. Don't worry, the more you do this, the better you'll be. Okay, so what do I do if I have scientific notation and I want to change it into standard form. Well, I just do the opposite. So I know that this is a positive exponent and so I want my number to be large. So I write the 3, let me get black here, and I'm going to add 8 zeros. Okay, so I'm going to go from here and I'm going to add 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's all I do. And I know because it was positive, I'm making my number very large. So I add eight zeros. Now I have 300 million. That's what my number stands for. This is, stand, this is scientific. This is standard. Okay, so let's do the same thing with a negative exponent, okay? So I have my 4, and my decimal point is usually right here because that's between 1 and 10. And I'm going to go, because it's a negative exponent, I'm going to go to the left or make this number smaller. So I do 1, 2, put my 0 in, and add my decimal, okay? All right, so I know that these instructions that I only did a couple of examples, but I really think um, scientific notation is going to work pretty easily for you, putting it from standard to scientific and scientific to standard. Go back, make sure you have the steps written down. Try these by yourself, and we'll see how you do. Okay, so let's see how you did. When I'm converting from scientific to standard, or sorry, from standard to scientific, this is what I do. I move the decimal place so that I make a number 1 through 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 9.3007, everything stays the same, but I moved it four times, so that's times 10 to the fourth power. Okay, so now I'm changing this. I only move it enough to make my coefficient between 1 and 10. So I only move this twice, because that would be 7 and 5 tenths right there, times 10 to the negative 2 power. All right, and let's change these. The, the exponent is 4, so I know I'm going to move this 4 times 1, 2, 3. So, sorry. One, two, three, four. That adds a 0 to it. 40,130. And so this is a negative exponent, so I'm going to write this in. And originally the decimal place was here, 
So I'm going to go over to the left three because I'm making this number smaller because of the negative exponent. One, two, three. I add my two zeros in and put my decimal point. I hope you did okay with this. Make sure you have any questions and we'll do a lot of practice starting tomorrow.